so first of all welcome to this tutorial guys i would like to recommend that you go through part one of odk that i posted in my youtube channel that is how to create odk form using excel before you go through this tutorial so that you understand some of the main guidelines although that part one had a slight mistake that we are going to correct here you can go through it to see the general guidelines in it so after the slight correction today we shall look at some of the steps we, sh we should use to collect data using odk collect of our mobile phones so our first step will be copying the downloaded file in an android phone and our next step will be copying the file into the odk folder in the phone's file manager and our last step will now be collecting the data using odk collect app in your android phone so guys before we continue there is a slight mistake we made and uh, that does not change our guidelines we learned in the first tutorial so there is only a slight mistake we will change in the label column starting from number nine which is gender so in the label column let us remind ourselves what we said in the label column we should write the questions exactly how they should appear so we did a mistake by writing the choices for example for gender we wrote one male two female instead of writing gender that is the question that should appear so here we will write gender instead of the choices we wrote previously we will do the same to the other questions with choices like marital we will do away with this and write marital status we will do the same for nationality we will do away with the choices and write nationality let me delete these columns because they are not important so that they don't confuse you thereafter we will come to file We'll come to file and save our document with a, a name so here I will use a different name in order to avoid confusions because we are did we did a mistake in the last tutorial so I will use ODK research but you can use any other name that you prefer so for me i will save it in the desktop and click on save finally our choices worksheet will remain just the way it was with the list name name and label list name the name of the questions the name the numbering of the choices and the label the naming of the choices so guys it is important to upload the form again because we have made some correction so guys i hope you will make the correction before uploading the form online so as we said in our previous tutorial to upload the form online we just google the word odk form online after we search for the word in the internet let's wait for it to search we said in our previous tutorial that we select the first option which is open data kit or xls form online it may not be the first option so let's select that after you selected it now we have come to a new window xls form online so because of time we shall go very fast in here you can see we have an option of choose file so you just choose the file 
after clicking on choose file you, you should remember where you saved your file in our case it's the desktop then we are going to double click that one in our case we saved our document ODK research so we will double click on that document it is already there now we are going to submit it after submitting that file we are going to preview it first so we will select we will click on preview in Enkero so we wait for it to load now our ODK form is ready here we have all the questions the way we wrote them in our label so the only difference here you will notice the difference between this form and the other form in the case of gender we wrote the options instead of the questions so that correction is very important we are supposed to write the questions on top this will be gender marital status and nationality not the way we did it in the previous in the previous example so after we have previewed the form we will go back to our window where we uploaded it and we will download this x form it is important to download this x form because it is the one that we will copy into the mobile phone and open the phone through the app called odk collect now guys we've created form using excel we've uploaded the form online we've downloaded the form but someone may ask an important question what do we use this odk download for so this odk download or this form we have downloaded from the internet is very important because it is what we are going to use as a form in odk collect which is an android app to collect data now electronically now our first step is to copy this form we've downloaded it to our android form phones to copy this file we've downloaded you need first to connect your phone to your laptop or desktop computer or what whichever the computer you are using and to connect it you are going to use a usb cable so after connecting it you should enable the file transfer after enabling this we are going to copy the file just the normal copying of files you know in android font so you will come to your downloads folder to get the file you downloaded as you can see we have the odk research the form we have downloaded but it seems it cannot be opened because it is not compatible with windows so we, we will click on the form and right click then copy the phone then we will come to our pc to copy it in our android phones now the next thing you need to do is to install the odk collect app the odk collect app is an android app found in google play store so you will open your google play store in your android phone then the next thing will be to install the odk collect so guys it is important to remember that we copied our form into the android phone so we will look for that form in the file manager of our android form so to look for it you will just open on the file manager after opening the file manager you will swipe downwards to the last up to the last file where you will get your last copy document which is the form in here you can see mine is odkresearch.xml that is my form then the next thing to do is highlight the form to highlight the form you just tap on it and long press after tapping and long pressing you will copy it to copy you will click on this icon but though for different fonts the copy icon differs so you will just copy the form after copying it you will come back to your file manager in the in the home of your file manager and search for the odk folder 
because when you install the ODK app, it will come with its folder. So you will just search general search ODK in your file manager. You will see the folder. You will open the folder. After opening the folder, you will get these subfolders in it. Folder 1 is .cache. Folder 2 is forms. Folder 3 is instances. Folder 4 is layers. Folder 5 is metadata. So you will click on this folder forms. After clicking on it, you will find two other subfolders called we have all widgets media, we have collect v123 beta background. So here you will not interfere with any file, you will just come and paste. You can see the paste icon is active here. So you just click on that icon to paste. Though in different fonts it may also differ the, how the icon looks like. So after pasting it, you can see that we have the form there now the odk research.xml in our forms folder so after that you will just go back to your phone desktop and click on the odk collect app after clicking on it you will find this window you have fill blank form we have edit saved form you have send finalized form you have view sent form you have get blank form in this stage I will only take you through the simple steps. We, we are going to only use these two buttons. This fill, ba fill blank form and edit saved form. In our coming steps, I will show you how to use the finalized forms and the sent forms. So, you will tap on the fill blank form. After tapping on that, you will get this window. After getting this window, you can see our form has been has been reflected in our ODK forms. So it is here, ODK Research. So you will click on it to open. After clicking on it to open, you can see the first question has appeared, the way we wrote it in our form. Our first question was name of interviewing person. So in my case, let's use an example of my name. So after that, you will click on this arrow icon, icon with an arrow and a dot in front of it. After clicking on it, after clicking on it, it will bring you to such a window with all the questions. So our next question is physical address. You just click on physical address. It will again bring you to the window of phys with physical address where you will write your physical address. The next thing you will do the same, click on the arrow icon. After that, it will bring you back to the list of all questions. As you select the other question like date, we have select date. After that, you will select your date. Then the next, you, you continue with that process. Then our next will be serial number in the facility register. And we have an example of 300. You tap on the arrow again. After tapping on it, it will bring you back to the list of all questions. You tap on the next question. You fill it again. Our next question is laboratory serial number. We have filled it as 100. That's just an example. You will tap again on the arrow. You will get the next question as telephone number. You will continue with the same process until you fill all the questions. After filling all the questions, you will get this window with all the questions filled. After that, you will click on this button, go to end. After clicking on it, you will get this window with the option of saving that form. Also select the option of mark as finalized that that is the next step that we are going to see in this level let's as just look at the simple steps so the name of this form comes as the default name of the original form 
so you can change it to response one or you can change it to any name that you prefer go to you so after that you will come here and click on edit saved form after you click on that you will get the list of the saved forms in our case we saved our form as response one when you open it you will see the field questions so this is our data one now when you want to collect more data you will follow the same procedure by clicking on fill blank form after that you will follow all those procedures similar to that i've given you then after doing that all those forms you have filled and saved will appear here under edit saved forms so after that you can manually transfer that data into a database like microsoft access database although i'm going to teach you how to create online databases with google drive or odk aggregate which is a cloud server